Good morning. This is Saturday, October 14th, and I'll say right up front that I'll see you tomorrow at church. If you don't have a fellowship, come see us, Wyndham Church of Nazarene. It's the intersection of uh, Routes 115 and 202 with a little white church up on a hill. So if you don't have a home, come see us. We'd love to see you. It starts at 10 o'clock, and Sunday school starts at 9, but the church service itself starts at 10. Today's devotion is the key to the missionary's work. When he says missionary all through this devotion, he's talking about Christian witnessing. Matthew 28 says, Jesus came and spoke to them, saying, All authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all the nations. The key to the missionary's work, or the witness's work, is the authority of Jesus Christ, not the needs of the lost. It's not about soup and shoes. It's about salvation. We are inclined to look on our Lord as one who assists us in our endeavors for God. Yet, our Lord places himself as the absolute sovereign and supreme Lord over his disciples, us. He does not say that, he, that the lost will never be saved if we don't go. He simply says, go therefore and make disciples of all nations. He simply says, go. Go on the basis of the revealed truth of my sovereignty in your life. You know it because you're redeemed. He's your Lord. And teach and preach out of your living experience in me. Then the eleven disciples went to the mountains which Jesus had appointed for them. That's Matthew 28. If I want to know the universal sovereignty of Christ, I want to explain that. To be a sovereign means to be a king. And to have kingship and sovereignty over us means that he rules our lives. So he's saying, if I want to know the universal sovereignty of Christ, I must know him myself in personal relationship. I must take time to worship the one whose name I bear. Jesus says, come unto me. That's the place I have to meet him. Come unto me, all ye who labor and are heavy laden. That's Matthew 11. And how many missionaries or witnesses are indeed burdened and heavy laden? And we completely dismiss these wonderful words of our universal sovereign of the world, but they are the words to Jesus, of Jesus, to his disciples, us. Right now, he's saying that unto us right now. Come unto me, all ye who are burdened and heavy laden. He also says, go therefore... And to go simply means to live. That's Acts 1. It's the description of how to go, to live as we go, to let them see Jesus in all that we do. Jesus did not say in this verse, go into Jerusalem, Judea, and Samaria, but he said, you shall be witnesses to me in all these places. He takes upon himself the work of sending us. That's magnificent. And this makeup that's so powerful, I just I can't take that all in. Jesus himself sends us to be witnesses. He says, if you abide in me and my words abide in you. See, that's the way that we keep going in these moments of witnessing. Where we are placed is then a matter of indifference because we are abiding in him. None of these things move me, nor do I count my life dear to myself, so that I may finish my race with joy and ministry, which I receive from the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 20, that's Brother Paul. This is how to keep going until we are gone from this life. The challenge I have for us today, to use Paul's words, is how is our race going? Do we live and believe in Jesus Christ? Do we abide in him as, and allow him to abide in us? Is he our sovereign as we would go and go, again, means to live, as we would live out Jesus Christ and let others around us see it? Let's pray. Father, we thank you for these challenges that you place into our lives every day. And I pray today, Father, that we could just rest in the fact that we can abide in you and you abide in us. And Lord, as we go, as we live our lives, people around us would see you. That would be the power and the tool of the witnessing moment, was that they would see us. And then, Lord, if you call for us to speak into their lives, you'll give us the words. We love you, Lord, and we thank you for these things in Christ's name. Amen. God bless and I'll see you tomorrow.